Welcome to Lifestyle with Neerich. Chromecast is a mini computer that connects to the TV and allows one to play music, movies and digital images. This small computer pairs with one's personal Wi-Fi connection so that it plays all this information wirelessly. It can cast videos from YouTube and Netflix and play music from Google Play. It is also a Google device, so it pairs with Google Home Mini. There is no monthly or subscription fee for using Chromecast. The content that you can cast can be free of charge, such as YouTube videos or a previously subscribed service such as Netflix. The latest version of Chromecast is Chromecast Ultra, which retails for twice the price of the previous version called just Chromecast. Chromecast Ultra is capable of streaming 4K and sells for about $80 in Canada. It comes in this small box with features listed on the outside. Peel off the tape using the red tabs at the bottom on each side. Then slide out the inner box. This is what Chromecast looks like. Take it out and you will find the HDMI connection magnetically attached to the back. On the opposite side you will find a mini USB port. Remove the instruction card in the box. And remove the power cord. The power cord has a regular sized USB plug on one side and a mini USB plug on the opposite end. Now go ahead and locate empty HDMI ports on the TV. Most TVs have several to choose from. Attach Chromecast using the HDMI plug. The power cord has a regular sized USB plug on one side and a mini USB plug on the opposite end. Now you have a choice here. You can connect the USB plug onto the TV or use the plug provided to power Chromecast from a wall outlet. This will have some bearing on how you use the device. For example, if you want Google Home Mini to switch the TV using voice command, Chromecast will require an independent power source. In other words, you will not want to use the USB port on the TV. Then attach the mini HDMI plug to Chromecast and plug the two pin plug into a power socket. You will see a small light come on Chromecast. Next, turn on the TV. You may see this screen in which case go to the TV's remote control and select a different input. Then go to your mobile phone. Unlike Roku, notice that there is no remote provided with this device. Instead, your mobile phone can be used like the remote. Download the Google Home app if you haven't already. Google Home app should recognize Chromecast and display this image. Next, follow the series of setup instructions. Your mobile phone will display a code which you will also see on your TV. This will tell you that you are pairing the right devices. You will also be asked for the location of Chromecast on the screen. In my case, I select basement. You next select the Wi-Fi network. You will need to enter the password for the Wi-Fi network selected. Chromecast will connect to Wi-Fi and link to your Google account, which may or may not include Google Play. Chromecast will take a few minutes to download the latest software, after which it is ready. Look for the cast button on your mobile device when watching a YouTube video or Netflix movie and the image will be cast onto the big screen. You can also ask Google Home Mini to play music, movies, 
or videos on the TV. Hey Google, turn basement TV on. Okay Google, play Lifestyle with Neeraj on YouTube. Sure, playing Lifestyle with Neeraj from YouTube on Basement TV. Welcome to Lifestyle with Neeraj. Thank you for watching this video. Like and subscribe. I hope you found this video informative.